So I'm, I'm interested in. I don't play. Right, I'm interested in how or well how Gbis is gonna approach uh, oh, yes, the Grenadier the matchup. Match right here, the Corin. Are they just gonna go go straight for it? Gbis so. Oh, they're just going straight. Yeah, in my experience that. playing Gbis, they use a uh, a lot more down B than any other Corin that I've played, mm. and it's. A little annoying sometimes, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think it's a great move, but it is annoying when it hits you. Down B is <laughs> really good at getting confirms. Um, that's something that I would say, but I think that G Beast may like rely on it a little bit too much. Um, especially right here, like I think that like he doesn't have to commit to that pin pin kick. He could just um like wave drop cancel it. Real because talk? you're a lot actionable sooner. Kind of looks like we're watching Ultimate right now. <laughs> it does kind of look like vanilla. <laughs> it looks a little, other than the core and pin mix ups, it's a little standard. Oh, Ooh. up there. Did not get the tipper. Ah, oh, back. interesting. Speaking of downbeat, I feel like that's the opposite of uh, shoutouts to Nebraska and Corn Truth Singer. Truth Singer, I feel like uses it once per set. Is the vibe I got. That's like what? the downbeat. Mm -hmm. That's like the hit. That's like the hidden missile. You're just like, like he's, you make the he saves. I like it. it although yeah. it has been a while since I've played uh, Truth Singer. Because unfortunately, Nebraska Nebraska has brackets every Saturday, unfortunately, so not not a lot of them can make it out. Oh, and great recovery. You do not want to take Corrin to a wall stage. She will f live forever if you're not ready for the, uh... The, uh, pin yeah. mix of recovery. Yeah. Oh, good sweet spot spare. Prefer. Uh, oh, that was a fair! Yeah, I was gonna say, I feel like definitely left damage on the table there. Oh! Ooh, nice pick up combo the <laughs> Nolan's doing a good job catching these Nair approaches, just waiting it out on the shielding and then going for the punish afterwards. I feel so... like these guys are playing like a little bit honest, you know what I mean? Oh. Like, I, wa I want to see some like cursed stuff. I, I feel like we're seeing like a oh. couple hits, like BMPs. So, so we, we do have to realize that like a lot of Greninja's moves do not break the armor from the downbeat. How much damage does it take? You need to deal 12% in one hit to break the armor. Um, do Fair and Nair not do 12%? Ooh, that was a nice no. little side beat to back air conversion, though. Uh, Tipper Fair may, but I don't think anything else does more than 12% for Greninja. Mm, other than like a smash attack? Yes. That's interesting. We haven't really seen the, the down B come out at all yet. So the down B, usually you want to punish uh, get up attacks with the down B. You want to mm. punish uh, really bad um, aerials in the air with uh, down B. So it's up to the corn player to know what percents uh, they could tank against the character that they're playing. I really like that late Nair into uh, pin uh, mix up. GBS has been using Nair a lot, like Nair for everything, both offensively and defensively. Uh, Nair for Corrin, it covers both sides. It's also frame five. It's one of her best aerials. Oh, the jump got caught there. Ooh, uh, Nullis. Nullis, Nullis yeah. I saw the down smash attempt there. Had an opportunity oh, to maybe go for like a down air. Um, GG Beast has also been doing a lot of the like pin jump into like an aerial, so either like a fair or an air out of the pin jump. Yeah. It mixes up the timing a little bit. Um... Oh, oh, and good oh. ledge stick. The ramen noodle. Beating the Alberta allegations. That's true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> oh, and a good anymore. up smash to catch. Late on that upper oh. Oh. Oh, oh just missed the again. Back here there. So we do have to realize that the pin jump, um, it actually is a lot shorter than the short hop. But the yeah. time for you to throw out an aerial, it takes a lot longer than a short hop. Yeah. So there's a trade-off right there. I think frame 7 of the pin hop, you're able to throw out an aerial. Um, mm -hmm. except, um, instant pin. What frame is uh, Corrin jump squat? 
Uh, four. Yeah, I would assume four. Yeah, so it's significantly a lot less yeah. time. Three, three frames were commitment for sure. But it, it, I feel like there's definitely a mix up on the angle. It's easier to make moves safe because you don't mm -hmm. go as high, so the spacing's a little more automatic. <clears throat> moves like jab beat out the pin. However, where's the damage gonna come from to trade off of the pin with Uppy for Greninja? It's a free pin for Gorn. Oh, immediately with the down. Throw. Yo, the grab into grab? That's oh my gosh. Right there, Nolix had like nine ideas there and one of them worked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the Ooh. drag down. Oh, yes, that's the nice. Jab lock with the second hit of the jab. That's, that's actually the smash ultimate. Ooh, GB's a little uh, late. I will say, I will agree with your pointers of how, how they're both playing very safe. They're both like kind of feeling each other out and then only going after they have something there. Yeah, I, f I feel like both of these characters are like capable of a lot of like broken stuff. And I, I think this kind of like weariness almost in like neutral and kind of the safe play and advantage. Too is, much caution is, is not a good thing. It, it's leaving a couple things on the table and it, it might just be unfamiliarity. Like if you play against a character that you don't really know the weight of or the or the percents on, you might not have those automatic follow ups. But I definitely feel like there's there's kind of more that could be pushed off of some of these neutral wins. Oh, right now, oh, oh right that's now, nice. The... And Nullix mains Greninja in Smash Ultimate, so you're seeing a lot of the like uh... dash attack up uh, up air drag down. It's just kind of like Smash Ultimate bread and butter. Yeah, it does not surprise me. Or the... The dash attack up smash at zero was a uh, very smash ultimate. Oh, yeah, that's the classic. And we have a tech chase. That would have spelled disaster for G Beast if he got hit by that dipper. When, when you hit fair dash attack oh. up yep, smash yep, yep, yep. in ultimate, you just feel like the goat. <laughs> grab the up rolls. Nolux is able to find the habits that G Beast is throwing out. I know that G Beast loves to throw out Nair yeah. uh, in disadvantage. So I like how Nolux is actually waiting for that Nair to come out and punishing the uh, end of it. Yeah, it's definitely seemed like Nolux is kind of laid off in terms of actually approaching. Um, and it's kind of letting G Beast swing and trying to come in with that dash attack or <laughs> trying to come in with that uh, like neutral air or fair. Uh, to whiff punish instead of actually approaching. So you'll see him run out um, with the water shurikens until G uh, Beast actually commits with something. And then that's when he's going to run in and try and get uh, an attack. And it's been working really well. At this point, man, Nolux is doing a great job in trying to make G Beast, uh, like, just. He's just playing off contact. I, I don't know how this matchup is in this game, but in Ultimate, Greninja, dump, I think, dumpsters Korin. Um, in this one, um, I think Korin actually wins. Yeah, I think I agree with that. I think I agree with that. Greninja has a little bit too many inconsistencies, whereas Korin is just able to juggle a fast faller like Greninja. Mm. Um, that's one of the things that, like, G-Beast is having a struggle here with. Um, he's having trouble uh, getting an opportunity to put Nullix into the air to be the able to punish. So nice. Nullix is feeling it right now. When you start going for pivot grabs like that, that's that's when you know someone is like, I'm going to win. <laughs> that was a or they're playing Smash 4. Game. Oh, or, or they're playing Smash 4, yeah. You definitely... <laughs> in the punish. And in that case, GBs might be able to punish the dash attack. He just needs so to... He needs to bait the approach option out in a way that's safe enough for him to reliably get a punish. So here's the thing about um, Corrin, right? So like, obviously, like in neutral, in order to like bait out an attack, you would do like a fadeaway aerial, right? Mm -hmm. Corrin has the privilege to instantly transfer all momentum into the opposite direction with the side B hop. Yeah. Oh. Um, so that allows for instant reverse uh, full charge bears, and the bear momentum will actually push you out of harm's way. That's interesting. Like, if you were to perform that tech from the middle of the stage, you will go off stage on Bramble Blast with uh, that momentum shift. That's so funny. 
Uh, There's no uh, jump here. Oh, a little late on the uh, wave dash timing. Oh, a little bit ambitious with the F smash. It's actually the right read. Just let it rip a little too early. Oh, again, Grab the right read, but Grab let it ledge. rip a little too early. And didn't actually use the up air to punish there. Again, a couple opportunities that Jubis has had that have been left on the table oh. a little bit. I like the down B, but I feel like Nullix has been going high in a lot of these recoveries. Yeah, Greninja doesn't have too many options for like his recovery. It's kind of bad. Um, so you got to recognize like he has to go to ledge, oh, and... he has to go high, and he can't get very far. That was a pretty risky down B right there, which he can punish for S smash out of shield. And those big like swings are exactly what Nullix is looking for. <laughs> The G Beast um, playing more of an aerial game and Nullix playing more of a grounded game, it allows Nullix to be able to um, with punish a lot Ooh, of G Beast's um, approach options. Better than last game, though. We're not seeing this huge lead uh, immediately being created. And I think part of that is due to the platforms not allowing for these drag downs as easily. I would love to see more Nair at the ledge to cover like a couple options. You could get neutral get up and jump. Uh, and maybe even roll potentially with just a well-timed Nair. So maybe using that as just like an option coverage until uh, Nullix actually proves that he can or can't deal with it. So Nullix, unironically, is at kill percent for Corrin. Um, if GBs has been doing a lot of these reverse pancakes, if Nullix DIs in on one of them, it's a free F smash uh, tipper. Yeah, see, like that Nair was really, really good. Just missed the fadeback timing a little bit. Ooh, the oh, and a bear. Edge guard opportunity here. Oh, man. Again, the timing on these edge cards has been a little off. Oh, down smash! <laughs> oh, but nice, the good smash timing. That looks a little late on the up air there. This is very much like a, a like smash ultimate thing, but seeing rolls out of shield instead of wave dashes when someone does something unsafe on your shield. Just gives up a little bit of extra frame advantage that you could have had to continue pressure. I don't think it's the exact wrong play. I think if you are uncomfortable with the scrap, I think it is better to uh, roll out than wave dash out. Um, just to give yourself it... a little bit more breathing room. And like, it's very nuanced. It's very nuanced. Yeah, I think I think it definitely depends. Like, for example, if, if Greninja dash tax your shield, first of all, you should be able to grab it. Um, but if you're not confident in that, um, Rolling away from it does give you a little bit more distance, but it also puts you in lag for more time. Which means that Greninja might be able to follow up while you're still in that roll lag. Whereas if you had um, wave dashed and then Greninja tried to follow up, you would get um, a punish. Was GB's able to get less to, uh, down throw is not quite going to kill. I think the next one will. And also not pressuring in the air. We see that down throw send Greninja all the way up, and GBs didn't even like wave dash onto the platform or anything to threaten that up air. Nullix was able to just come down with a back air. Remember, Horin's greatest strength is when they are underneath the player. Oh, this combo is nice. I would have loved to see Nullix double jump and go oh, there. Oh, in the wave dash out of the shadow sneak. First, I told him that. First time he out this game or this set. Yeah. Actually. It's saucy. I don't know if it's that good, but it definitely looks cool. Uh-oh. Dash tag. Oh. GB's getting a little bit antsy here. All right, the back air has got him off stage. Oh, but he's not able to... Oh, that oh. was a pin! Oh, and the oh. tipper! Wow, that killed? Yes, yes, oh. it kills. Pin tipper like, kills. I feel like that DI was a little suspect. I don't think I don't think Nolux was expecting that. I don't, I don't. All right, game four. We need PNW on the HDR PR. <laughs> we need the people. <laughs> oh, okay. 
Oh, I love the weight with the side B. Just not, just not going anywhere because every time GB's has been either going left or right with it. You did a little mix up there. What song is this? It kind of rules. Oh, I, I replaced the Animal Crossing songs with the Yakuza Like a Dragon series songs. Oh, okay. I was like, I have not heard this I in the game before. I so sick of every Ult and HDR Grand Finals with just KK Slider going me, 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 me in the back. That's my like, goat. Wah. Okay, KK Slider's <laughs> fine. Every, everyone else, every every other song wah, is wah, shit. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> ah, yes. Game 10, Grand Finals. Wah, 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 wah. Oh, no. <laughs> My you gotta replace the Animal Crossing in the model, like the models in the background with the Yakuza models. Oh too. my goodness! Just make no them, the, make them the demons from Doom, and put, oh, all the, no. put the only thing they fear is you in the background. <laughs> that is actually my favorite song title of all time. How raw is that? The though? entire Doom 2016 original soundtrack is fire. That's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. But the title, the only thing they fear is you, is crazy. Ooh. It goes so hard. That up air was that up air was crazy. It sent like elite horizontal. All right, and it's looking like the only thing Null fears is corn. <laughs> right, guys? Okay. <laughs> Back to the match. <laughs> I, I think I I don't think it's much more of a Null thing. More GB's has been playing a little bit, actually, a very differently. More aggressive yep. with the edge guard. Yeah, he the down smash really there. put on the gas. The, yeah, like I was saying, the approach game from GB's has lot, looked a lot better this game and nearing the end of the last game. Seems like he figured out kind of the tempo that Nelix is trying to play at and is approaching in a way that it kind of disrupts it. Oh, I love the pin attempt. And those um, nares at the ledge, they're, they're getting value. On that edge guard there. Right. Nelix is keeping to that same game plan, just kind of waiting. Waiting for GB to come to him. Fair into the strong fair. Not quite gonna be the suck. But Nulls has been getting a lot of those. There we go, the Nair. The late hit of the Nair connects. Barely clipped him with the Nair. Okay, nice. Oh, that definitely could have been a tipper. The pin attempt, again, the I I liked I like how GB's is going for more of these edge guard options. Whereas I think in the previous games they were just kind of charging S smash and just and neutral B. It's very fair. Oh, oh it's all oh, out of there. So unfortunate. Oh, and Nullix missing the kill confirm there actually. Didn't think the Nair was going to connect. Down throw not quite enough even I'm on the platform. On the smash will platform at that percent. Ambitious on the forward Here. tilt, but Nullix not going to get the sweet spot on the forward air. Ah, uh, doesn't quite get the punish on the recovery either. There have definitely been opportunities for both players to take the stock here, and it's been a little bit labored. So it's a little, little, you know, little shaky moment, little, it's a little scary. And right there, GB misses the up air, but gets the fair instead, but the side B pin is going to do it. Looking very soft for GB's here. Oh. And if you're Nullix, you have to be a little tilted that you didn't get that last game, and now you're in this situation. Mm -hmm. This is the worst feeling, especially as- Ooh! Ooh. the hitbox of the up B. I'm telling you, these nares at the ledge are money! Oh, and the pin finally Oh, connects. and the pin! Yeah, GB has been going for that all game. And gets it at the very end there. We are going to another game five. All right, game five, baby. Let's see. I'm so curious to see what stage. Actually, no, I don't think they changed. I think it's a run back. It is. That's crazy to me. Cause this was the only stage that Nullix got freaking owned on. <laughs> he decided to run it back. Mm. Cupid, you a female corn or a male corn guy? I'm a female corn guy. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh. I don't. I don't know any male corn people. I've met like one. I know some male Robin people. I know some male Violet people. But I've not seen male corn. Well, this female corn here is doing some work. <laughs> That's something Ooh. testosterone simply cannot Ooh. replicate. 
That, it's been a good while since uh, Beast has actually gone for like a down B. And, and that I feel like the that, there. that's when it's at its best, is when you haven't used it in long enough that the opponent kind of forgets about it. That DI was oh, suspect yeah. as hell. Yeah, no DI is, is the best I, DI I to survive. I genuinely think down, Nullis so. could probably live there. I don't like female Corrin very much because since she doesn't have shoes on, her feet make like wet slapping noises when she runs. Like if you listen for it, you'll hear it. Aww. It's like a really gross noise. I they could run without that information. Like, Is that what you're... It's like Squidward's feet, dude. It's Wait, awful. Wait, she's, like, she's <laughs> plapping? Yeah, she Ooh, makes like Squidward plap. Wait, but the male one has shoes? I, That's I so honestly, weird. I, I think so. I know he makes a different footstep noise, and only female Corrin has the, the has wet the clap slapping noise. Noises. Yeah, that's yeah. so weird. There could have, there had to have been a different way you could have phrased that name. Which clap weird clap Japanese, noise. which weird developer decided to put that in the game? <laughs> I want to talk right now. Who made, who made it different? Who noticed? If it was Sakurai, I don't trust him anymore. Wait a second. <laughs> I saw some ultimate discourse the other day about uh. People figuring out Incineroar got people to cheer for him when he does his taunts. Well, didn't know and that? other people were calling... I mean, I knew he had little special taunt animations. I didn't know the crowd cheered for him, though. Yeah, they said and that a lot of other people revealed him. Yeah, everyone said that. I, I didn't watch the Incineroar reveal trailer. Okay, well, that's not my fault. <laughs> I mean, real, but, like, I, I mean, I didn't have a Switch. I wasn't watching that. Ooh, oh, gets hit by the stun. Oh, oh. I, that pin would have oh, no been pin. devastating for Nolix because Nolix had the the entire momentum, this entire stock. Uh, yeah, that oh. pin would have won the game, just straight up. Uh, Nolix is able to close it out with that fair. You guys ever watch the Steve reveal thing? It's the most complicated okay. shit you ever seen. <laughs> like the okay. Steve reveal trailer or what? Oh, wait, the, Steve the re reveal trailer. Steve, holy oh. uni, calm down. Hey, hey, man, I just came back, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, ironically, we were talking like, about feet while you were gone. Feet? Question mark? Feet? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, we were talking about feet while he was gone. Like, that did happen. Yeah, but we, we can clear Thank, it. Thanks, thanks to you, Jay. Thanks to you. It's long gone. Okay, so right now it is 2-2. Two, two. It's game um, 5, yes. yes. GB so I, I make the reverse 3-0 here. <laughs> Me it's, when it's, I can count. <laughs> I feel like it's hard for um, a person that, like, doesn't... Ooh. Particularly no uh, potential setups to pin to realize, you know, Ooh. like there are so many opportunities that GBs would have gotten to get an early kill at 60%. Mm. I... A dash attack, unironically, on DI out, it combos into a pin tipper. Oh, yeah, you hit me with that, and I was like, is this real? <laughs> yes, it is real on DI out. Oh, no, um, that that, that down tilt. IRL. Down yeah, tilt. it's like physical reaction. <laughs> The Sour Spot down tilt on DI out combos into uh, Pin Tipper. Interesting. A uh, Sour Spot fair. Oh, you see how big that grab that is? That grab range was huge, yeah. That was ridiculous. That had to be some sort of hitbox Re extension from the forward tilt. That shield time. is low? I think you let a, an F smash rock. I'm doing wave dash forward F smash right here. That's all oh, I know. The down B attempt was very ambitious. Oh! Yeah. Oh, that's oh, a no jump! No Get jump! Oh, grab, grab oh, that's, that's it. Oh. Yeah, that's it. Yep. Wow, what a huge catch from Nullux. Uh, Nullux dies from a down throw. <laughs> you <laughs> lived it last time, but that's crazy that you called that shot. Why? <laughs> that, that's, that was actually so good. That was clairvoyant. When he saw this in a dream. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why would you make work harder for yourself when you have a kill throw? My goat, Mwadib, saw that the future. That was a really good movement option from Lowe's, too. How you went high no, and then wave tilt. dash down for up the Up tilt! Oh, that was a fair! Oh, and now fair. you're gonna get punished! Fair, fair. Oh, no okay. jump! Not able to get... Oh, the... Okay, Lowe's misses the fair. Oh, no. Oh, this oh, is getting a little bro, panicky. Getting a little panicky. Oh, that, that was good. That was a good, that was a good full charge bear. Oh, it's resetting. Oh, oh gets hit by oh. that could have been huge. Oh, oh, the dash. I was just very surprised the dash tag did not connect there. Gets the grab up into air. up air. Up air. Into up air. Up oh, air. Okay, oh, oh. Get the, not able to get the third oh. one. I know there. Oh, up air. What? Down throw kills. Down throw is a win condition here. Will it kill oh. on stage? I feel like oh. no. Yes, it does. Oh, that's a grab. Oh no. How's she? How, it should be. Oh, it should be. No, the, oh my god. No, 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 no,
Is that the one kill? No, I don't think so. Okay, okay. Ah, no, you're crazy. crazy. Oh no, that's it. Oh, it's that over. It? No, <laughs> no, it's not. Back. Yes, you know nothing about Corrin. Oh, 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 oh my God. God. Good recognition okay. from G Beast. What a, a comeback! What a, what a comeback!